Here are the installation steps for adhering Sentinel PVC membranes to roof parapets using Sentinel S bonding adhesive. First, you should know that the PVC membranes that can be adhered using Sentinel S bonding adhesive on parapets are those with a bare back. They have a polyester or fiberglass reinforcement, and they are available in two thicknesses, 1.5 and 2 millimeters. Before starting, make sure that the environmental conditions are appropriate. Please note that the temperature must be a minimum of 4 Celsius during the application of the adhesive. Make sure the substrate is dry, clean, and free of any debris, oil, grease, or dirt. It is important to know that PVC is incompatible with bitumen. Any contact between these two materials must therefore be avoided. In this video, we will install the membranes widthwise but it is also possible to install them lengthwise. To begin, take measurements of the parapet to determine the length of the membranes. The flashing membrane must overlap field surface membrane so to obtain a welding space free of fasteners of a minimum width of 75 millimeters. This will accommodate a 38 millimeter seam weld You must therefore calculate an overlap of at least 75 millimeters when there are no fasteners at the base of the parapet and an overlap of at least 150 millimeters when there are fasteners. Cut the membranes according to the dimensions taken earlier. Before applying the primer, mix the contents of the pail well until you obtain a homogeneous mixture. Using a minimum 3 8 of an inch solvent-resistant nap roller, apply the adhesive to the parapet substrate and to the underside of the bare-backed PVC membrane. Be careful not to apply adhesive to the overlaps as they will be heat welded. Once the adhesive is dry but still tacky to the touch, lay the membrane on the substrate. Apply even pressure to the entire membrane using a membrane roller. The use of a specialized roller for angle changes ensures better adhesion of the membrane to the base of the parapet. The following membrane is installed in the same way, overlapping it by at least 75 millimeters to leave a continuous heat weld of 38 millimeters. Before welding the overlaps, make sure they are clean and uncontaminated. Clean them as needed with a non-greasy cleaner. Start by spot welding at the base of the parapet to make sure the membrane stays in place. Then weld the overlap between the two membranes. At the overlap of the two membranes, at the base of the parapet, cut the corners so that they have a rounded shape. You can now weld the overlap to the field surface using the electric hot air welding cart. Weld Sentinel T-joint patches to all T-joints at the base of the parapet. Please note that this is a critical area. Install a reinforcement piece if the weld looks questionable. Now check the quality of the welds by sliding a probe along all joints. If the tool penetrates a joint, lift up that section and heat it using an electric hot air welder. Then use the roller to firmly seal the joint in place. Finally, at the top of the parapet, attach a PVC coated metal flashing. Weld a strip of PVC wide enough to allow a 38 mm continuous weld to the parapet membrane. These were the installation steps for adhering Sentinel PVC membranes to roof parapets using Sentinel-S bonding adhesives.